and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and I'm finally going to do something that I should have done quite a long time ago. Basically, the Unity Asset Store is really awesome. It is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make some really awesome games. There are so many tools that can help you save literally hundreds of hours, or alternatively help you plug some skill gaps. Like in my case, the Asset Store was definitely the reason why my last game, Dinky Gardens, was actually my first 3D game. It's because I'm not the one who made these 3D models, I don't have that kind of skill. Instead, I just bought those assets from artists that do have that skill, basically use that to make a really cool game. The asset store helped me basically focus on programming and basically just buy the skills that I don't have. So I have found some assets to be insanely useful, I could not have made my game without them. And just recently I published my own asset, the CodeMonkey Toolkit. It's a really awesome collection of 40 tools and elements to help you make games better and faster. By the way, the release discount is ending in just a few days, so definitely get it quickly before that ends, this is the cheapest it will ever be. So yep, I just published my own asset, and in there I asked people to review it. I'm basically assuming that the Unity Asset Store algorithm is kind of similar to the Steam algorithm. On Steam, you really want to try to get at least 10 reviews as quickly as possible. That is the difference between having no score and some score, and as soon as you go past 10, you get a massive boost in the algorithm. So I would assume that the Unity Asset Store works the same way, so the difference between having no score and having some score should give you quite a bit more visibility. Now I don't have any data to back up that assumption, I just assume that's how it works. And on the asset store, most assets actually don't have ratings, they don't have enough reviews. At most they might have like 5 to 10 reviews, something like that. But most assets really have pretty much zero reviews, so they don't even have a score. So something that I know I should have done quite a long time ago is simply write reviews to a bunch of assets that have helped me quite a lot. And since right now I just published my own asset and I asked people to write reviews, and a bunch of people did do exactly that, because of that, I figured I should also help out some really awesome devs that have helped me make my own games. There's actually one review that I did write four years ago on the A-Star Pathfinding Project Pro. This is a really awesome asset, I've used it in almost every single one of my Steam games. This has been insanely useful. If your game requires pathfinding of any kind, and if you need it to be insanely fast, then this asset is definitely a must-have. It is undoubtedly one of the highest rated assets on the store, and definitely with very good reason. I made a video review on it quite a long time ago. Definitely check it out if you've never heard about this asset. Another asset that is an absolute must-have is Feel. This one contains a ton of tools to help you take your games from very boring to extremely awesome. Again, the exact same game, but just by adding all kinds of feedbacks, all kinds of effects, you can take something that looks very basic and make it look really awesome. So yep, this is definitely one that I highly, highly recommend. I also made a video review on this one. Really great asset. So yep, here, let's write a review. The perfect asset to help your games look awesome. This tool really helps you polish your games. It helps you take a basic action and make it feel super powerful. You should absolutely always polish your games, and this tool really helps take your game to the next level. And yep, of course, it's a five star, really perfect one, really recommended. So yep, let's post that review. Then we have the Odin Inspector and Serializer. This is another really excellent one. It's basically a tool for helping you make tools. So it is one of those things that it is a little bit complex. It takes a while to learn how the whole thing works. Despite actually being relatively simple, I mean, you just use an attribute and for the most part it works. But still, it is something so capable that it takes a bit of a learning curve. But if you take the time to learn that, you will get an insane power. You'll be able to very easily make some custom editors to really help you be a lot more efficient in building your game. This is another one where I also have a video review on it. And in this video, I end up making a nice custom editor window in just a few minutes. See if the other inspector is really awesome. I definitely highly recommend it, so let's write a review. This is a great tool for helping you make tools. In order to be really efficient, it helps to have great tools, and Odin helps you do that. You can make some awesome custom editors to really help you speed up development. This is a must-have, especially if you have a game where you have to create a ton of content. And yep, of course, five star, really awesome. So yep, let's post. All right, there it is, another great review. Another awesome asset that I really love is the all-in-one sprite shader. This is another really excellent one. It basically helps you polish some sprites. You can take it something that looks very, very basic and very easily just by toggling a few checkboxes and moving some sliders. By that, you can make something look really awesome. So super powerful, really cool, and very, very easy to use. I also have made a video review on this one. And on this one, I also made a really cool little demo. Basically, the bullets move around, all of these really cool effects, including that one, basically the character becoming kind of like some super hot glow, shooting all those. So, as you can see, it looks very, very different from the unpolished state, and the whole thing was done very quickly. So, yeah, this is another one that I highly recommend, so let's write a review. This one, make your 2D sprites look awesome. Easily polish your 2D sprites, add tons of effects using the easy-to-use custom inspector, just tick some checkboxes, and move some sliders, 
to get it looking exactly the way you want it. In a few seconds, you can take your game from something that looks boring to something that looks super awesome. Perfect for any 2D game or really any 3D game that uses any kind of sprites. So yep, even if you have a 3D game, if you have some kind of UI or some kind of 2D sprites, this can really help you in order to make those look really awesome. And of course, this one is absolutely a must have, absolutely five stars. Yep, let's post it, really great. This is definitely another one that I highly recommend. Something that is super awesome for testing is over here, the Quantum Console. This is basically an in-game console where you can modify all kinds of things. And importantly, you can actually also add your own custom commands on top of it. So you can bring it to the console, it has the usual command, so you can modify all kinds of Unity things, like modify the time scale and so on. But then you can also very easily just add an attribute to your code, and using that, you can very easily add more commands to that console. So this is absolutely excellent for playtesting, doing all kinds of things. Another great benefit is how it actually allows you to see basically all the messages in the console. So if you make a game build, usually in a game build you can't see the console, so this really helps, really awesome. You can see all of those messages, and of course you can add all kinds of custom commands, so you can like start the game, then for testing, you can load some kind of different level. You can give your player some more armor, some more weapons, some more things. So if it is really adaptable, really capable, and really easy to use. This is another one where I also have a video review on it. And over here at the end, I basically added it to this little mini shooting kind of game where I can basically customize the amount of ammo that I have. So I can use a similar command in order to refresh that ammo, in order to spawn some more targets and so on. So you have very easy, it literally just takes one attribute and you can easily add all kinds of commands. So you have another one that I really recommend, great for testing. So let's say control your game with ease. It's an excellent tool for helping you be more effective with testing and building your game. The console is visible in both the editor and in a build. It allows you to read all the console logs and you can easily add more custom commands. Just include the attribute in your own custom functions and call them through the console. So it's great for testing your game. And if this is another one I found extremely useful, especially when making multiplayer games where you want to make a build. And for this one, definitely gotta give it five stars and let's post. Next is another one that is super impressive. It is Rayfire. This one helps you generate some really awesome, impressive destruction. You can take some kind of object, then modify it in various ways, create all of the various parts that are going to be spawned. You can modify all kinds of shapes, modify where exactly those spawn particles that can really show up. So you have a lot of control over how exactly it blows up. You can slice objects, you can destroy them, create all kinds of particles. And of course, you can then just simply simulate the whole thing. So you can have the normal object, then break it into pieces. And if the whole thing feels super satisfying, everything breaks into a million pieces, it really looks really awesome. This is another one where I also did a really nice review on it. So on this one, I created a little mini game, so a little shooting game and added a bunch of destruction. And yeah, the difference between without and with destruction is really quite impressive. So you have the whole thing breaks into pieces, it feels really satisfying. It takes from a normal scene into something that is completely broken. If you'd like to make your own game, kind of like Battlefield, then this is definitely a great little asset. And yeah, of course, you can also slice things. You can slice objects and even slice some skin meshes. If you want to add destruction to your game, this is probably the best asset there is. So let's write it. Let's write super satisfying and performant destruction. Make your game stand out with some really satisfying destruction. Blow up every part of your world with ease. Use the included custom editor to get it to blow up exactly as you want it. You can slice objects, you can blow them up, or just let them crumble down. And yep, the whole thing is super performant. So go ahead and make your own indie battlefield. Of course, five stars, really excellent. Another one that I really like is the asset inventory. If you like me, you also buy tons of bundles on something like Humble Bundle or things that are external from the asset store, then this one is definitely a must have. Basically, you can load all of those things into one tiny tool, and then you can very easily search throughout all of the thousands of items that you have in all of your Unity packages. So you can load everything inside of it and then search for, let's say I want a hat, and basically it's going to show you all the prefabs that you have on all the assets that include some kind of hat. You can search for prefabs, search by audio, search by material, mesh, sound, and so on. You can search for almost anything. And one really great option is the magic import, where you can literally import just a single item that you want. So instead of importing the entire package that might have, let's say, thousands of prefabs, you can just import just a single mesh, just a single audio file, and that really helps keep your project quite a bit more clean. So yep, it's another really awesome one. This is a relatively recent one. I think it only came out like two years ago, and it is definitely one of the most useful assets that I've seen in the past few years.
Step up on this one, absolutely got to write a review. This is, this is a must have to manage all your assets. If you have tons of assets, especially if you have assets outside of the asset store, then this tool is insanely helpful in taking all of those and putting them all in a single place really easy to search and find even if you have thousands of assets you can filter by asset type like prefabs easily search all your thousands of packages and then import just a single thing you need instead of importing the entire package that might have thousands of assets definitely a must-have to help you manage your giant asset library. So yep, definitely great, five stars, easily without a doubt. And for another insanely useful, very easy to use polish tool is the text animator. This is another must have. You can very, very easily customize and make your text animated in all kinds of ways. So if you have text of any kind in your game, which pretty much every single game is going to have some text, if you have it, this makes it so much easier to look much, much better as opposed to just sewing the text, just static, just boring. With this can look super cool. So yeah, this one is definitely another must have. Perfect for polishing any kind of text. Almost every game has text. So almost every single game can benefit from this awesome asset. It's very easy to use. In a few seconds, you can take your text and change it from boring to something that looks really cool. Make it print, make it shake, make it rotate, or literally anything else you want. Very easy to add the tags in the rich text, so you can even add effects on some custom dynamic text. Definitely a must have. And yep, of course, five stars. So yep, reviews are awesome. Now go ahead and take some time yourself to go ahead and review some assets that you like. I believe it really does help those devs. And like you saw, most assets have pretty much zero reviews. So if you just give them one review, that is going to be a massive help. In terms of my own asset, thank you all so much to everybody who wrote reviews. I was wondering if I was going to be able to get enough reviews to at least get a score and thankfully yes. So thank you all so much. And if you want to make games better and faster, then check out my toolkit. The new release discount is still live for a few more days. Over time, I will be updating this toolkit with more tools and elements. And as I do that, I will be slowly increasing the base price. So basically right now, this is the cheapest it will ever be. So definitely go ahead and get it quickly. And of course, when you do, please go ahead and write a review. Let me know what you think about it and let me know what tools and elements you'd like me to include in future updates. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.